New at five, a frustrating update for people who live near new Indy Container Board. That, of course, is the paper mill that is facing multiple lawsuits for stinky emissions, basically permeating the area for miles. We're now seeing a major roadblock for those who are complaining. A budget proviso, which would have prevented the company from asking South Carolina to let it emit more gases, failed to make it to the governor's desk. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner spoke to the senator who first proposed this measure, and he says there are more pressing concerns. Senator Michael Johnson says he's alarmed because the number of odor complaints against New Indy is dropping, which on face value seems good, but he argues it's not. Senator Johnson says the odor of hydrogen sulfide coming from New Indy is still there, but he says people are getting fatigued reporting it. I read online where people say, oh, well, no one's listening. Actually, they are listening. And, and when you report, it helps build the case that allows us to keep the pressure up on New Indy. He says that pressure is critical after he tried to include a proviso in the South Carolina state budget. It's a clause that would have barred New Indy from asking the state to increase the amount of hydrogen sulfide it's allowed to release into the atmosphere. But that proviso failed in a conference committee made up of three House members and three Senate members after two of the House members recused themselves from voting on it. Senator Johnson says the two members, representatives Merle Smith Jr. and Bruce Bannister, say they're part of the lawsuits involving the mill. We obtained this screenshot of an email a homeowner received from an attorney who invited them to join a community engagement board New Indy was putting together. Note the attorney's email domain, Bannister Wyatt, which is Representative Bannister's law firm. Some homeowners questioned whether the two representatives were put on the conference committee specifically to kill the budget proviso, but Senator Johnson disagrees. Uh, I don't think it was nefarious. I think it is unfortunate. We requested interviews with both representatives and the House Speaker, but we haven't heard back from them. South Carolina DHEC has told New Indy to make changes to its corrective action plan, which the company is doing right now. In Catawba, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. Well, tonight, see